Hello everybody, welcome back to programming in python.com. Here in this video, I'm going to show you how to implement binary search algorithm in python. In the previous video, I have implemented linear search, which is also known as sequential search. That is a very basic searching algorithm. Here in this video, I'm going to cover a bit advanced searching algorithm known as binary search. So as I said earlier, I have created a series of algorithms. So I will create a uh, programs on searching techniques, sorting techniques and all other algorithms. So this is the second one of this. This is the binary search technique. So so in this technique, what this binary search does is, it divides the list into two. As the name indicates binary, it divides the list into two halves with a starting point, end point and a mid element. So and it compares first with the mid element. If the element is found in the mid element, it gives the position of the mid element. And if the element is less than the mid element, it uh, changes the end position. That is, it changes the end position to mid minus one. If the element found is greater than the mid element, then it changes its start position to mid plus one. And and such so is in that particular list. And same thing happens in that list too. So and one more important thing is uh, this search works only on a sorted list. So first. We need to also sort the list if the list is not sorted and then search the elements. So first initially I will take a list, empty list. And also I need to ask the size that is the size of the list. After this, I need to ask, I need to take the input numbers. So I will ask to enter any number and will append these numbers to that list, that list which you have defined. So we have uh, got our list. So now we can uh, perform our uh, searching operation on this list. Before that, we also need a key element that is to be searched. So we'll ask the user that is the enter a number to search. So I have asked the user to enter a number to search. Now we can call this uh, binary search algorithm. So I'll create a function for it and we'll name it binary search. It takes uh, something like two para three parameters here. The list itself and the size of the list and the key element that is x so i have given define a function binary search with these three elements this is the list and uh, this is the input number to be entered and this is the size of the list so we need to create a function here i'll just alt enter it says create new function binary search it creates it uh, creates here so i'll just move this function to the top so, so this is the function created by in this pass and we also need to change these variables just for our sake it says uh, shadows name list from outer scope that means uh, this list is uh, equal to this uh, same arguments uh, this uh, calling function and call function arguments are same so it's better to uh, change the argument names here and one more thing is uh, we will also sort the list here as i said earlier this search should be performed on a sorted list for here i will just um, sort this there is a function called sort which automatically sorts all the elements in the list and I will also just uh, print a message that uh, these elements in the the elements you ended are sorted out the sorted list is something like this so now we can call this uh, now in this function we will call this as a sorted list and I will call this length the size as the length of the list and this x as a key so now we can perform the binary search actual algorithm on this as i said we need three arguments start uh, mid and end i will initially set the start to zero here the end would be length minus one if uh, start is less than or equal to n then we can proceed further and uh, perform this so i will write a while loop that is while start is uh, less than or equal to that is n so that we can confirm that it is that the list is sorted then we'll find the mid or uh, as i said mid will be start plus n by 2 so so now we got this start n and mid we got all the three e parameters which we needed for this function so now what we need to do is uh, just check whether the key element is equal to this mid element or not if it is equal then we will return it if it is not equal or something like it is if it is greater than we will change this uh, start value if it is less than we will change this end value that is pretty simple and now i will check each condition if this 
key is equal to equal to this sorted uh, list of this sorted list of mid check like this if key equal to equal to this sorted list of mid then we'll just uh, uh, print the position of this key so if say this entered number is present at position that is entered number means this key is present at this position that is the mid so if the key equal to the mid element then the element is found and we'll uh, return this uh, and we'll end this uh, while loop so if not we'll write another condition that is else if uh, else if we'll check here if uh, key is less than a uh, sorted element of mid that is if the now uh, if the key is less than the mid and would be minus one so it will check to the uh, left hand side of the list so if the mid element is less than the key element so it will check to the left side of the list so that we will uh, we need to change this end position to mid minus one if key is greater than the sorted element so now we'll change the start element to mid plus one. If uh, the condition doesn't fall in any of these three lists, then we can print the element is not found. So we'll just return as element not found. And uh, so now we'll check this. Uh, basically, as I said, this binary search uh, principle is nothing but it just divides the list into two lists. It divides the sorted list into two lists. If it check for the middle element. If the middle element is a key element, it returns to the position. If the middle element is less than that uh, key element, it uh, goes to the left side of the list. That is by changing the start and end, uh, by changing the start and end points again, start will be set to zero and end will be set to the mid minus one. Similarly, if it is greater than the uh, mid element, it will change the start position to mid plus one and the end position as same. So now again, this uh, it will perform this uh, same operation on that particular list. Again, it will divide into two lists. Again, it will divide into mid and two lists. Um, again, it will check whether it is equal to mid or not. Same thing repeats until this uh, uh, key is equal to the sorted element of mid. That means until the key is equal to the mid of some list, then it will return the position of the element. That is basically this binary search. Let us save and run this. Enter size of the list, I will enter size of the list as 5 and any number I will enter some numbers like 12, 23, 10, 25, 85. As I said, the list is not sorted, so I sorted the list as 10, 12, 23, 25, and 85. And now I will so sort search some number like 23 here. It says enter number 23 is present at position 2, that is, this is 0, this is 1, and this is 2. So the element 23 is present at position 2, that is correct and we will run one more example with uh, input also given as sorted list, um, size of the list is 5, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, now I will enter some to search some element like uh, 13, it says it's found at position 3, that is 0, 1, 2, 3. And I will run one more example to search uh, to check whether the element uh, whether the error exception is coming whether that element is not found in the list we have written some exception for uh, while searching for the non uh, non um, while searching for the element which is not in the list so I will enter some 99 which is not in this list so it says the element not found so that is basically this binary search hope you like this video if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, do a like, comment. Stay tuned for more videos on programming in python.com. See you in the next videos. Bye bye.